cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death across the globe. And as per the World Health Organization, it is estimated that 31% of the global deaths are from cardiovascular disease. And of these numbers, 85% are estimated to be due to heart attack and stroke. There are many contributors to this, including a super busy and stressful lifestyle which does not leave enough time for oneself. Foods play an important part and has a profound effect on your heart health. And in this video, we will discuss foods which you need to avoid for a healthy cardiovascular health and foods that you can still consume in moderation. If this is of interest to you, we recommend you stick around till the end of the video. Foods for a healthy heart, coming up. This video is brought to you by Good Health Corner. At Good Health Corner, we bring research health information in a simplified manner that is easy to understand. If you like what you see here, we request you support us by clicking the like, subscribe and the bell icon. This will ensure you get notified every time we release a new video. Disclaimer The health statements made in this video and the site are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease. They are solely for information purposes. Always consult your doctor before implementing any treatment protocol. Now coming back to the topic, let's understand what are cardiovascular diseases. Cardiovascular diseases, also called CVDs, are a set of disorders pertaining to the heart and blood vessels. And they can be categorized in a few groups. Coronary heart disease. This happens when the blood supply to the heart is interrupted or blocked by fatty deposits in the arteries. Cerebrovascular disease. This is related to the blood flow to the brain and is related to the veins which supply blood to the brain. These disorders can cause ischemia which is loss of blood flow resulting in a lack of oxygen or it can also cause bleeding. Peripheral arterial disease. This is narrowing of the peripheral arteries which serve the legs, stomach, arms and head. The main reason for this is narrowing and blocking of arteries in critical regions of the body. Rheumatic heart disease. This condition is developed when the heart valves are damaged by rheumatic fever. Congenital heart disease. This is a problem with the structure of the heart and is present from birth. Deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. This condition occurs when a blood clot forms in a deep vein. Alright, with this understanding, let us now understand what is cholesterol. Cholesterol is an essential substance for the body and is created in the liver. It is waxy in consistency. The body needs cholesterol to make hormones like testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, vitamin D and also helps in the digestion of fats. Cholesterol is important as the body uses this for the structure of the cell membranes. And without cholesterol, our cell membranes will become permeable. The body gets cholesterol in two ways. One is through that resources and the other is through the production in the body by the liver. And there are two kinds of cholesterols. Number one, low density liver proteins or LDL. These cholesterols are not considered heart healthy as they can stick to the blood vessels and arteries and disrupt the supply of blood to the heart. And the other one is high density liver protein or HDL. These are considered friendly cholesterol and helps in reducing LDL to stick to the walls of the vessels and excrete them from the body. As compared to cholesterol consumed via diet, the liver produces almost 75% of the circulating cholesterol in the body. Now let's understand cholesterol and the brain. Cholesterol is very important for brain health. The brain being a fatty organ is comprised of 60% fat and contains up to 25% of the body's cholesterol. And HDL cholesterol is linked to brain health in older adults. The small gap between two neurons is called a synapse. And neurotransmitters are released by the neurons travel through this gap and attach to the receptors of the next cell. This area of the synapse is lined with cholesterol rich membranes helping the neurotransmitters to travel. Myelin which provides insulation to the nerves of the brain is made up of membranes which are 75% cholesterol. The nerve endings have lipid wraps which are rich in cholesterol. So, in the case of brain being low in cholesterol, will impact the cell membranes, synapses, myelin and lipid wraps and can result in cognitive issues. Let's understand some high cholesterol foods which are safe to be consumed in moderation. There are foods that are high in cholesterol but research has shown that these foods do not make a significant spike in cholesterol in the body. Number 1. Eggs Eggs are high in cholesterol and one large egg can deliver a substantial portion of your daily cholesterol requirement. Individuals with high cholesterol are often concerned about consuming eggs due to the cholesterol content but research has shown that limiting the consumption of eggs to 3 a day is generally safe. 
and eating whole eggs have shown to improve the good cholesterol or HDL, which helps to remove the sticky cholesterol from the blood vessels. Eggs are high in fat and a brain food. They contain choline, which is an important nutrient required for the brain. And both the cholesterol and the choline in eggs help brain health. Number 2. Liver Organ meats like liver deliver a whopping 493 milligrams of cholesterol for every 100 grams. The reason being organs are made up of fat and cholesterol is a very important component. Though the liver is high in cholesterol, it has other beneficial nutrients. And for healthy individuals with no history of high cholesterol, the liver can provide a solid punch of nutrients. The liver contains iron and in the form of heme iron which is easily absorbed by the body. And this is essential for individuals with iron deficit anemia. It is one of the concentrated sources of B12, riboflavin, folate and copper. And it also contains the active form of vitamin A and choline which is essential for brain health. The liver is a superfood and provides essential nutrients for the body. And if you enjoy it in moderation, you will be fine. Number 3. Cheese Though cheese is high in cholesterol, but some studies have shown that consumption of cheese does not increase blood cholesterol. A study on 162 people showed that the intake of 3 ounces of full fat cheese a day did not raise LDL cholesterol as compared to the same amount of low fat cheese or equal calories from jam and bread. Cheese are high sources of calcium, proteins, vitamin A, B12, zinc, phosphorus, riboflavin and also contains omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin K. Due to the high fat and cholesterol content, having a moderate amount of cheese daily should not be a health concern for healthy individuals. Now let's understand some foods which are to be best avoided. And these are the foods which should be avoided at any cost. Number 1. Fast Foods Fast foods are primarily empty calories with no beneficial nutrients for the body. These foods are laden with gluten and sugar and are generally very high in saturated and trans fats and cholesterol. Since there is no health benefit one can receive from these foods, it is best avoided. Fast foods are known to cause cardiovascular diseases, increases the load on the liver for processing the extra fat and the toxins which accompany these foods. And these are notorious for creating heart diseases, diabetes, hypertension and weight gain. These foods generally do not have any beneficial fiber and are a major threat to gut health. Gluten and sugar are known food intolerance and creates inflammation of the gut and can lead to a leaky gut syndrome. And a degradation of the gut health has cascading effect on mental health and depression. Number 2. Processed Meats Examples of processed meats are sausages, bacons, hot dogs, salamis, etc. And these are classified as class 1 carcinogens by the World Health Organization. Processed meats are not fresh and they are preserved by curing, salting, smoking, drying or canning. And they are high in cholesterol and bad fats. Processed meats contain additives like sodium nitrite to preserve the color of the meat, improving flavor and preventing bacteria and food poisoning. And this nitrite in processed meat has the ability to turn into harmful compounds. These are linked to an increased risk of heart disease and should be avoided by any health conscious person. Number 3. Deep fried foods. Deep fried foods such as fried meats or cheese are very high in fat content and cholesterol and should be ideally avoided. These are high calorie foods with minimal benefits for the body. And these foods are high in trans fat which are linked to heart diseases. These foods being high in calories also contribute to weight gain and can also cause other related health issues like hypertension and diabetes. Deserts. Deserts include ingredients that are high in calories, fat and cholesterol. All deserts are loaded with sugar, which is known to cause an inflammatory reaction in the body. Ingredients like whipped cream and butter, which are part of most cakes and desserts, are very high in fat and cholesterol. And overindulging in desserts is linked to an increase in weight, diabetes, heart diseases and also gut issues. Foods high in saturated fats. Saturated fats are fats that are generally solid at room temperature. And these fats have a high correlation to high cholesterol and reducing these foods can help to lower cholesterol and improve lipid profiles. Saturated fats are known to raise the LDL level and increases the risk of heart disease. Some good examples of foods which are high in saturated fats are fatty beef, lamb, pork, chicken with skin, etc. Some baked goods and fried foods also contain saturated fats. Palm oil and coconut oil are also high in saturated fats, but these do not contain cholesterol. Foods high in trans fats. 
Artificial trans fats are created by adding hydrogen to liquid vegetable oils in the process of making them solid. And trans fats primary sources in processed foods are from partially hydrogenated oils. Trans fats have become popular among the fast foods in the processed food industry as these are comparatively inexpensive and have a longer shelf life and can be used multiple times. For instance, fast food outlets use trans fat in the fries as the same oil can be used multiple times. And this is very unhealthy a practice. Trans fat increases LDL and also lowers HDL and they are one of the main culprits behind heart disease. And in addition they are also associated with type 2 diabetes. Trans fats are found in foods that are fried like donuts and baked foods like cakes, biscuits, pizzas etc. For your information products that are listed 0 grams of trans fat if they contain less than 0.5 grams of trans fat per serving. And if you read partially hydrogenated oils in the ingredient list it means trans fat. Now the question is that how to control cholesterol? And there are a few ways by which you can control your cholesterol. Eat more fiber rich food. Fiber rich foods help in blocking and absorption of cholesterol in the gut. It is good for the gut and helps in a healthy bowel movement and keeps you full for a longer time. Lose some weight. Losing weight is directly related to burning the fat reserves of the body and improving metabolism. And this in turn helps in reducing the load on the liver and reduces cholesterol and triglycerides. Stop snacking on fast food. And a good idea is to replace fast foods with healthier options like nuts and seeds. As these contain healthy nutrients and omega-3 fatty acids. Eat more healthy fats. Include more monosaturated and polyunsaturated fats by including olive oil, avocados, nuts, salmons, mackerels, etc. Exercise. Exercise increases metabolism and starts burning the fat reserves and has a drastic impact on cholesterol levels. In conclusion, so we see that cholesterol is not all bad, huh? It has some important roles to play for the brain and cellular health. And just like nothing in excess is good, cholesterol in excess can also lead to health issues including that of the heart. And high cholesterol increases the risk of heart diseases and we have seen that CBD is the biggest contributor to global deaths. Having a good eating habit and being conscious of what you are eating helps in reducing cholesterol. And including simple things like exercising on a daily basis and having healthier snacking options help to control cholesterol. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like to see more such videos, we recommend you to subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this. A little bit of encouragement from you will go a long way for us. Thank you and we hope to see you again. Bye for now.